little uh, putting competition here. Who can get closer to the hole? I don't know if I should say. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that confidential. Dude, that might have gone in. Birdie! Yeah. Today we are in Los Angeles. We just got back from LA. No, we just got back from Australia not too long ago. We did have another YouTuber that has around 70,000 subscribers reach out to us and say, hey, next time you're in LA, come golfing with us. We're gonna go have some fun with him and I think his son is coming with. It's a beautiful day in LA. It is sunny today and nice. Man, right here. Oh, hey. How's it going? Hey, good, good. Dude, thanks for the invite. Dude, anytime. We are just jumping right into it. This is a very tight golf course, and so we're probably gonna lose some balls today, but um, they've been waiting for us for a while, so there's no way we're gonna be like, let's go to the range and hit a bunch of balls. The sun goes down at 4.58 right now, and it's just at past 12 right now, so I wanna make sure we can get 18 holes in if possible. But super nice course. Whoa. Wow, really nice. Not very long. Not very long. It's not okay. the longest course, but man, it's 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 one of the trickiest. Really? Yeah. The, the whole course, or you're just saying this hole is not very the long? The whole course. This is like this elevated tee box. We're up pretty high. We're close to like the hills of Hollywood, and this is what you think of when you're in California, is just like hills and everything, but it's a little chillier than I had planned on. Your Mr. Short Game is the name of your channel. Yeah, you're a golf right. pro here at Braemar, is that how you Braemar, say it? Braemar, yeah, yeah. Okay, how long have you been a pro? I guess I've been a pro the last two years. To officially, okay. Uh, according to the uh, USGA, we're gonna we're gonna ask for help on one of the holes today. Lincoln, what is one thing that I am garbage at in golf? I know there's a lot of things, but what is the main thing where you're like you're pathetic in this? Hitting it straight? No, not that. No. Putting? No. Come on. What's wrong with you? What's the one thing that you whoop me at? That if I ever hit it in this place, I'm like. Oh, bunkers. Yes, bunkers. Yeah. How did that take you so long? No. Oh, crap. Do you think you could give me some help with the bunker today? Bunker is, uh, yeah, no problem. We'll, we'll hook you up. Just a few tips so I can practice when I go home. No problem. I don't get nervous when my camera's on. <laughs> oh, that is a bomb. Just a little right. We got Link, who is a lefty. We got Jet, who is a lefty. That is weird. Two lefties. I can see why he said this course has trouble. The wind is blowing. We both hit the ball to the right. I think I might have hit mine in the road. <laughs> it's on there. Nice shot, Jet. Showing us the way two holes in a row. That looks really good. Go, go. Oh, it's short. Oh, you oh. hit a nine iron. I hit a pure nine iron. It's only 136, I think you said, but it's 148 is what I played it. And still, I'm in the bunker short. I thought that was going in the hole. There's some wind out here in the hills of Hollywood. All right, so I said earlier that my biggest weakness in my game is hitting it out of the bunker. Here we are in hole number two. I get a chance to get some tips on how to hit it out of a bunker. Let's hear this. What, what are some good hitting out of the bunker tips? Okay. Everybody should know. The one tip I always say people is like, um, you've obviously been in prison, Dan, a few times, right? <laughs> For sure. So if you had a prison <laughs> shank or a shiv, whatever they call it, uh -huh. and you need to jab someone in the leg, that's hmm. the mindset. So you're taking your hand off and leg. you're pulling it down here as hard as you can. Huh. Like you're, I know it's kind of Didn't think of that. Did you think of that? That's a good that's, one, shiv. That's the, the thought process right there. You know. Okay, so, but you're not, you don't put it way up in the stance. The thing that no. people always tell me, they're like, put it way in your stance, put your weight forward, and hit down on it, but. No, I don't like to hit down. The club's going down. Yeah. So I just think around. If you can get it around your body, you'll be much better off. I think the best teachers in life are the ones that are able to give you an example that you can really visualize and think of. That's a really good example there, a shiv and you're stabbing somebody in prison. <laughs> so that's what I'm going for here. So I'm not gonna put it forward in my stance all the way. 
I'm gonna open it up a little bit. Love it. And then I'm going to, it's like I'm stabbing someone. Mm-hmm. Shift, back, stabbing him. Back around your left pocket, you'll be good. Back around my left pocket, so it's like, but I still hit in front of the ball, like, does it matter how much? Yeah, keep your hands in the center of your body, too. Don't put them forward. Oh. Hands back, if anything. There you really? go. Really? Yeah, there you go. Open my face a little yeah. bit more. Okay. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. okay. Do it again, like do it again. I of that. Oh, there you go. Hey, That's pretty good. Out. That was pretty, actually. That one sounded that great. That was one of my better sand ones. When we were playing at Royal Melbourne, I used a thing called the hand club. I'm out. Hand wave. What a hand shot. Wave. Look at that. I would hit it like three times and not be able to hit it out, and I just grabbed my hand and <laughs> throw the ball out. So Why not? I got to get away from the hand club. Famous members of this country club at Braemar that you're allowed to say. You that may I'm not allowed to say. You may not be allowed to say who's members here. I don't know. I, I know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I should say. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that confidential. <laughs> I'll tell you off camera. Here we are, and there's a giant green downhill sloping quite a bit. I hear a lot of people say, if you can put it, put it. Put it. Yeah. Are you are you that same philosophy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you can put it, I, I like to put it. All right, we're gonna do a little uh, putting competition here. Who can get closer to the hole? This is a... All right, we gotta try to stop it right at the ridge, which is right there. A little too far. That's pretty back good. Back. Oh, and then it just races by. Coming up to the ridge. Right, there's the ridge. That's good. Oh, right past the hole, still. Way closer than mine. You win. Nice job. Great shot. No aces. I like to film on the par threes just in case somebody gets a hole in one. What's a good number of tees to have behind your ear? I don't know how many I have back there right now. Right now you have two. All right, here's the master hitting it out of the, the bunker to show us how to do it. <laughs> no pressure at all. See, that's how you hit it out of the bunker. That's what I need to do. All right, I'm gonna use that shiv and I'm gonna be hitting like that soon. You see this in a lot of golf commercials, this course. Really? Yeah. Uh, when Tiger did the Rory at the range where they're hitting back and forth, uh -huh. that was at the range. Really? Wow. Um, Bubba and Hunter Mahan did, did one here in that hole. That'll work. Something I've never seen on a golf course. Watch for poison ivy and poison oak. Have you seen anybody get stuck in that? No, but one time I was looking for balls over there. It was summertime and I'm looking around, there's poison oak all over me. And so I got out of there and I ran and jumped in the swimming pool. And I guess chlorine's supposed to help. There you go. Now you've heard it. If you ever go into poison ivy, jump in the swimming pool. <laughs> so you've been on YouTube for a few years. Um, what's one of your favorite things about being on YouTube? You know what my favorite thing, two, one, two things. Um, I get to help a lot of people do something that I love and then mostly I love like spending I get to spend more time with my family now because I work at yeah. home on my own thing I don't have to drive all over the place especially in LA that's nice that's a lot of time saved one of your favorite videos that you've done on your channel one of my favorite my favorite one was I did one earlier this year where I played a golf course where I first played my first round of golf with my grandfather didn't get a lot of views but that one meant the most to me and then I did a mission trip with my oldest son to Honduras. So that was it. Oh, cool. Uh, that was cool. That was That's fun. great. Well, uh, nice thing about the Braemar Country Club is you have an amazing tennis facility that's right there. And on this hole, unfortunately, there's a few people that have missed. We've got tennis balls for days. 
All right, so Matt did a really interesting video recently where it was, he bought a Titleist fake driver. How much did it cost you? 150 bucks. 150 dollars. It looks just like it. It's pretty crazy. So in his video, he shows kind of the difference between the real driver and the fake driver so that you can spot it because it can be a little bit difficult. Now, when you swing the two side by side, you can tell which one's the real one, but a weight fell inside of it and it kind of dropped in. So he's gonna make a video on his channel where he cuts it open to get the weight out of it. So if you wanna see what's inside of a fake driver, and I'm trying to convince him to cut open his real one to do the comparison so it's more scientific. Um, we'll do it, yeah. I'll do it. You'll do it? Yeah. Yes, he's doing yeah. it, he said it on camera. Um, we'll put a link to that video after this and you guys can go watch it, but um, I'm curious now to see what's inside of it because we're not gonna be there for it. Good. Oh, that no. broke so much. Oh my gosh, that breaks a lot. These greens are not easy here. <laughs> Pretty opportunity here from that. Birdie! Yeah, what a putt! They don't call Mr. Short Game for nothing. <laughs> Okay, that was definitely the putt of the day that Matt just had. I mean, that was not easy. When he first was lining up, I'm like, really? Is he gonna go that far over? And it just kept breaking and breaking. Oh! Dude, that might have gone in. That was right That could have it. gone in. What do you think? Right Did at you make it. a hole in one? Right at it. Okay. Uh, do you have any hole in ones? Uh, not yet, no. Did Matt Sunjet hit a hole in one? You guys saw it on video. It was rolling straight at it, but then there we're downhill from it, so we couldn't see. Yeah, there's a lot of break in these greens too. If it was rolling right at the pin, it, there's good chance it broke. Yeah, that's that's that was a good a shot. He shot a six break, yeah. iron, and so with that distance, I think it was it probably wasn't rolling too fast. Jet, yeah, jet, cool. jet, 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 jet. Oh, oh, it's so close! What a shot, though. Oh my dear. Look at this. Here's the divot, right there. Nice little divot. I mean, coming from where we were at, like here's straight on, right there. Almost slam dunked it. If it could have hit the quarter, I think it would have dropped. And this ball just rolled right there. All right, let's see this birdie. Birdie! I mean, it's not, it's not a whole one, but that's pretty darn good. So Lincoln, your review of the Bramar Bramier. How do you say it? Bramier. Bramier Country Bramier? Club. Give me your thoughts. Amazing course. It's so pretty, but it's very, very tight. Very tight. Mm -hmm. Like, if you hit one, yeah, it's very tight. So that's a really nice course. Super grateful to play on it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, now we're gonna did go not figure play out. The best at we, all. we didn't play great. Yeah, we, <laughs> we didn't play great, but we did have a few pars in there. And we didn't keep our score, so what did we get on our score? I don't know. After the first hole, maybe the second hole, I was like, yeah, we're not keeping score today. <laughs> all right, Jet. Yeah. Good job today. Thank you. Thank you for almost holding that. Yeah. That was awesome. And Matt, we'll see you on YouTube. Yes. This is the video that you're gonna film right here with these two. Uh huh. Destroying one of them. So this is it. it. So like, one of these is fake, one is real. Even the head cover. Look at the head cover. It's pretty solid, right? Oh wow! I like how bright this one is. That's fake. Wow. This is a little bit more bl black plastic looking, whereas this is a matte finish. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Right. The top here. This is more of a silver, uh, a silver color, whereas that is a little brighter. Other side. Oh, right here. See yeah. that? Yeah, definitely. It's too bright. Is the weight? Does the weight? The feel weight feels different? similar. They actually sound very similar. Huh. This goes considerably higher, and it's oh. the same setting, same loft, everything. Okay, so I am curious to see the difference between those two. So I'll check that out when you cut that open. Okay. We'll watch that video. Sweet. Yeah. But hey, thank you for the golf today. How do you say the name? Bramier, Bramier? Bramar. Bramar Country Club. Very, very nice. And I, hopefully they don't get mad that I parked in the Country Club, tow-away zone, no parking. But hey, we're leaving the cart there. I don't know if I should go this way, this way, this way. What's the best way to do this? <laughs>